kind of just wake up, roll out of bed, shower if I got anything to do. If I don't, why shower? Try to brush the teeth though, that's important, but um, maybe have a cup of coffee, maybe a little bit of breakfast. Me and my girlfriend don't really work. Just living that life, eh? I got my first like record label in advance when I was still living in Montreal. I was working at a grocery store, I was doing a night shift, it was like a thousand dollars. And I was like, oh my god, this is like the most amount of money I've ever had in my life. I thought I was just a G, you know, like, oh yeah, I got a thousand bucks, this is insane. But I remember not actually quitting the job right on the spot. I stopped doing the night shift, but I became the bag boy during the day. I did that for a little while. And then once we started going on tour, I never looked for a job again after that. That would be crazy now to go out and look for a job. When I do an album, the whole album comes at the exact same time. I'll do the entire album by myself, record all the instruments one at a time, or write them, maybe I'll write them, I'll write a song, write the words maybe, or maybe the words come in the end, do a little demo recording of it, move over to uh, you know a nicer tape machine, do like a fancy recording of it. It's usually like a song a day, and then I'm like, okay, I got one today, and then like I can feel there's gonna be one tomorrow, so no problem, you know? And then once that tapers off and it starts slowing down, then, then you get the feeling, hopefully, that you're like, this is finished. It's just like a gut thing where you're just kind of like, I gotta do it. I don't know why I gotta do it, but I gotta do it. Um, and I think you get a little bit high off of it as well. Like, it's like the, you've made something, you have something here. You've created something. As far as like changing my own personal life, I think, uh, I don't know. I mean, I try not to let it really bother me at all. For a while it was like, you know, I'd go to write new songs and be like, oh, well, they really like this one, so I gotta do, you know, another one like that, but even better. But it's kind of like, that's the, the stupidest thing anyone can possibly do. And it kind of like defeats the whole purpose of why I started doing this in the first place. So, so yeah, I just kind of try not to pay much mind to it. If people want to listen to my music, then that's fine. If they don't, then that's also fine. Like, it doesn't matter. It's just music, you know. I'm making it. I enjoy it. If other people do, great. I've pretty much turned my whole life, which could have been anything, into like this one specific thing, like making music, playing shows, being with my band, touring around. And then when I get crazy from playing shows for too long, I write another record. And that's how my life goes. I like making the songs, but also enjoying myself is a huge part of the equation. And making sure that my band is comfortable, and making sure that the people in the crowd are comfortable. I'm just really lucky to have an opportunity to support myself and go out. We're just having a good time, so no complaints. Love it. Kind of crazy. Who knows how long it'll last. Carpe diem, baby, yeah.